I'm gonna marry Mayu-chan when I grow up. Me too. Daikun too? We're gonna be together forever. I love you both. Dai, we are engaged. I see. Finally. I'm happy for you. My childhood friends engaged. We said we'll be together forever. A faded memory. I'm Iori Nishi, 25. I had gotten engaged to my childhood friend, and I was telling my other friend, Dai Najimi. Thank you, Dai chan. I'm happy to hear you say that. That was my fiance and my childhood friend, Mayu Osana. We said we would all three get married. That was pretty cute of us. We all grew up in the same area. We've been together since kindergarten, and our parents were close too. We went to different high schools, but the same university. We're still close. The two of them started working after high school, and they commuted from home. I started dating Mayu in my third year of university. Mayu asked me out. But Mayu chose Iori. That's all. Be happy, you two. Dai-chan. Dai, thank you. Dai congratulated us. I felt truly happy that the two of them were my childhood friends. Iori, this month's utilities was about 37,000 yen. So can you put it into the account? What? It went up again. That's more than last month. Right? The electricity keeps going up. I hate it. Oh, and the rent's going up 10,000 yen. Again? It just went up. I'll talk to the landlord. I'll talk to them. You're busy with work. Leave all the house stuff to me. Really? That's great. Thank you. We moved in together right after university. It's been almost three years. Mayu worked in apparel, but it must have been hard because she quit after a year. She works part-time now and takes care of all the house stuff. I need to work harder. I love it. I'm counting on you, hubby. I started working at a pharmaceutical company after university. I work as a medical representative and deal with doctors. I have a higher salary than other people my age, but the electricity bill and other expenses keep going up. On top of that, we are getting ready for a wedding. I have to earn more. That's what I thought. Is that Mayu and Dai? I had received an afternoon off for coming in on a weekend. I got home early. Those two. Linking arms. It was different from when all three of us were together. I had a bad feeling. What? I was right. Mayu and Dai went into a motel looking too close. I felt goosebumps all over my body. No way. What was that? Possibly from the shocking scene. I felt nauseous. I stopped myself from running away and waited at a cafe near the motel entrance. They came out after two hours. I took a picture of them. What are you doing? Yori? Why? What about work? This isn't... It's a misunderstanding. Let's talk, okay? We'll talk later. Let's invite your parents and mine. Wait, wait, Iori! Iori! They called after me desperately, but I didn't turn around to look at them. I left as fast as I could. I guess I'll stay at an internet cafe or something. Ah, Japan really is the best! I wonder if he's doing well. Oh no, I thought about it again! I told myself I'd forget, May, you idiot! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ghost! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ghosts are my only weakness. I'm sorry for bumping into you. Don't take me into the beyond just yet. <laughs> Wait, are you? Yori-kun? <gasps> you are! Yori-kun! Kaneshiro-senpai? Yeah, it is! Long time! You look... Uh, like you've been through it. <gasps> You're getting dragged into the dark side! How about some tea? Come on, let's go somewhere! Two hot coffees! 
Be right up. So? What happened? Did something happen? I forgot to introduce you all. This is Mei Kaneshiro from uni, one year my senior. She was in my study group, so we've been close since then. It's been a while, but I told her about what I just saw earlier. How could that happen? I finished my story. I felt a little calmer. Maybe I just needed someone to listen. I can't believe it! Your childhood friend cheating with your childhood friend! Senpai balled up her fist. I was happy she felt so angry for me. Thank you, Senpai. I feel a little better now. Why are you here? Are you back from volunteering abroad? Yeah, I just got back the day before yesterday. I need to settle down. But to run into you like this? <gasps> Maybe this is a message from the universe. A uh, message? May looked down at the tables for a moment before looking at me with conviction in her eyes. I like you. I liked you, so I ran away overseas. What? For a moment, I couldn't understand what she was saying. It was so unexpected. I'm sorry. Bad timing. But I couldn't hold it in. You... me? Since when? Since university? But when I realized my feelings, you already had Osana-san. The more I tried to forget, the more I remembered. So I figured I might as well go abroad. I thought I'd let it go. But then this happened. I see. I was annoyed at myself for never noticing how my senpai felt. I want to see you again. As friends, though. Is that okay? My mature and thoughtful senpai looked like she might cry. Okay, I don't want to be unfaithful. So it will be after all this is resolved. I would love to see you again as friends. <gasps> thank you! Oh, thank goodness! If I didn't run into senpai like this, I don't know how I would have felt by myself. I was truly grateful to have run into her like this. Later, Mayu, Dai, our families, and I got together. The parents were all close because we grew up together. I apologize. I showed the picture I had taken and explained. There was a long silence before Mayu's father spoke out. I can't. How can I make up for this? What have you two done? Mayu, you were engaged to Yurikun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yori and Dai-chan are both important to me. I'm sorry. I couldn't hold in my feelings for Mayu. It was just once. I'm serious. Mayu sobbed. Dai had his forehead to the ground. Their words only made the parents angrier. How dare you! It's not okay because it was just once. You, my idiot son. <gasps> Dai-chan! Dai's father was usually calm, but he hit him. The sound of the slap and Mayu's scream rang through the silent room. What's done is done. I want to discuss what happens now. I looked at the two of them coldly and spoke quietly. I'm sorry. We'll respect your decision. What you want to do, that's what matters. That day, since I saw them together, I've been sure. I told them. I'm cutting off the engagement. I will be asking for fees for breaking off the engagement. In terms of the amount, please discuss with each other. I don't want to see these two ever again. Yori! After discussion, the Osana family and Najimi family decided to split the payment. This was how I lost my fiancé and childhood friends at the same time. I see. You decided to break up. With Osana-san? Yes. My heart was broken the moment I saw them. It was... unfixable. We've been talking, but I haven't seen Kaneshiro-senpai since that day. It took a while for me to feel better after that, but I was here to tell her what happened after. I really am grateful I ran into you that day. Otherwise, I might have self-destructed. No, it wasn't like I could do anything. 
But I'm happy to hear that. It might take longer for you to truly feel better, but don't hold it in. You're right. Thank you. Senpai spoke kindly, so my heart felt at ease. Maybe she casted a spell. Okay, then let's go. What? Where? Isn't it obvious? Times like this call for a foot massage. What? I've never heard of that. Yell a bunch and feel good. Release foot tension and be healthy. Let's go. My first foot massage really did something. <laughs> Senpai talked to me often, and we went to a lot of different places. I had no time to remember Mayu and Dai. All thanks to Senpai not letting me alone. <sighs> that was fun. I've never been to Joy Joy Land before, but that was great. Thanks for coming with me, Iori-kun. Thank you. It was my first time too. But that was fun. You should have told me you hate haunted houses. You looked terrified. It was hilarious. It didn't look so scary. I didn't think it'd be so scary. It was cute how scared you were. <laughs> we had gone to an indoor theme park and just gotten back. Senpai's face turned red. Let's go out again. Can we? Of course. I'll invite you next time. Okay. See you. Good night. Good night. Be careful. We parted ways at the station and headed home. I'm glad Senpai is here. She saved me. I'm glad. Yori-kun looks better. Senpai was walking home happily. Then... Wait! That's Osana-san and Najimi-kun! Senpai saw Dai and Mayu from behind. We went to the same university, but they weren't in our study group. I had introduced them to each other once. I thought about Osana-san back then, but I don't think she remembers me. We messed up. We had been so careful. Oh well. I didn't think he'd be off for the afternoon if it weren't for that. <gasps> They're talking about Iori-kun? When she walked past them, she heard my name and stopped in her tracks. She pretended to wait for someone and listened to their conversation. <gasps> no way! Okay, we'll take that here. Congratulations. Thank you. A few years later, Kaneshiro, I mean, Mei and I got married. There is no way I wouldn't have fallen for her after she stayed by my side. I had asked her out and we started dating. A few years later, here we were. I'll be back soon. Okay, see you. Oh, can you withdraw money from our utilities from our joint account? Got it. Our newlywed life was good. Unlike with May, we both took care of the finances. It's better if we can both see where our money goes. May had suggested it. Who could it be? Who is it? What? When Mei checked, she looked confused, so I asked her. What? It's... What do you want? Why are you here? Oh, long time, Yori. I got your address from your parents. I apologized a bunch. I heard you got married. We thought we would congratulate you. It was Mayu and Dai. I heard that they suddenly appeared in front of my parents. We still lived in the same area, so we weren't completely cut off from each other. The parents talked about my marriage, so the two of them heard about it and went to my parents. I don't want you to do that. I said I never want to see you both. Not seeing you is the best present you could give. Don't say that! Here! Your favorite! Lovecoy's Milkman Juice! I got the red and white ones! Thanks. So that's done. Bye. Wait, wait, wait! I try to close the door, but Dai shoved his foot in. What? Uh, um, actually, we were hoping to borrow a little bit of money. Huh? I was shocked by their sudden statement. You did what you did, and you are asking for money? I'm honestly in awe. 
We know it's crazy to ask you. But, but, we've been friends since childhood. I don't think that kind of bond just goes away. You're the only one we can ask for something like this. Mai was just saying things that sounded good. My fury reached its peak. Back then, you were after my money. And now you're back for the same reason. And you call that a bond? Don't make me laugh. You make me sick. What? I must have hit the nail on the head. It was obvious that both of them felt attacked. Back then? Yori, what are you saying? I know. You two were cheating with my money. What? What, what are you? When we were living together, Mayu was taking care of all the finances. It was partially my fault for letting you, but you were exaggerating the utility bills and rent, right? You were having fun with the extra money. It was all so you could cheat. What? How could you say that? You're the worst. I was working hard to help you out because you were busy. Mayu started to sob. Well, fake sob. Do you think he's just saying things? How about this? May spoke out from behind me. She started to play something on her phone. He's so funny. He hasn't noticed that you're asking for more than you need. Hey, don't say it like I'm the only bad guy. It was your idea. I know, but he said it was hard asking for money every time you go out. He doesn't even know that you were going out with me, though. I was going to ask for even more after marrying him. Right. Then, we could have dated in luxury without using our own money. Ugh. I'm glad I recorded this. I guess it was worth keeping. I found out the truth because May had recorded their conversation. Honestly, I thought about suing. But it was me who said I never wanted to see them again. I didn't want to go back on my word. I also didn't want to waste any more time on these two. I had wasted enough. I didn't want to decrease my time with Mei for revenge, so I settled on the broken engagement money. But you come here and ask me for money. You guys will not change until you're punished. I'm going in. Be prepared. W wait, Yori! We won't bother you anymore. Forgive us! Please, don't tell anyone. I ignore them and slam the door shut. Later. You said it was just one time. You were going out with Iyoriku for money to cheat with? The three families gathered for the first time since the engagement fiasco. May and I let them hear the recording. Mayu and Dai's parents' faces were pale with shock. You, you little, I'll teach you. We're sorry! The parents were furious at their children. With a lawyer to mediate, they made the two of them write an IOU. They promised to make sure the two of them would pay what they owe with interest. The two of them had to sell the house they lived in and return to their family homes. They're dumb. They came for more when you could have asked them to pay, and now they have to pay even more. I didn't ask them to pay for their sake. It was for mine. You're right. Did they not have other people to ask? They came to you. Oh, that's... The two of them were infamous among our mutual friends. They never paid back the money they borrowed. I'm sure they borrowed from them like they did for me. They won't have any freedom until they pay all the money back to them and me. You earn money and trust. It can all go away in an instant. This might be harsh, but in the end, you're strangers. You have to be smart about money. Yeah, letting someone take care of it might show trust, but nothing scarier than money troubles. Thanks to your suggestion, we can see each other's finances. More than spending money, I like to see my savings go up. I like to spend when I want to spend. Then we need to start saving so we can spend when we want to. Bean sprouts for dinner! Oof, you're kidding! Trust is gone when the money is. You have the money and trust that you saved up. Japanese people are against talking about money. But it's important. 
there might be a lot of people who struggle to talk about it. To build a good relationship, I think it's important to think and talk about money together.